Hi, I'm Bruce Lorenz, and this show is called Bruce on the Loose. I talk to people in the education field and city government and businesses as well. We had Mike Levitt on recently with Water Main Grill. Today we're very pleased to have Tammy Reddish, the new volunteer coordinator and activity director at Suprema Senior Center, and Lori Wilkerson, the director of the Suprema Senior Center. Ladies, thank you very much for taking time at her schedule to give the community some information about some new things at the Suprema Center. Thank you for having us. Uh, Tammy, what about your background working with senior citizens? Could you tell us about that? Sure, so I come from 17 years of working in a non-medical home care agency. Mm -hmm. um, I did everything from I started my career as a caregiver working one-on-one -on -one with clients and then I graduated into the office, did some administrative work, and then ultimately for at least half of that time I was one of their client care coordinators overseeing the care and um, signing them up for services. We've seen a change in the last decade or two that we really want seniors to be active and to, to do things and to maybe get off the couch. It, do you see that? as, as Absolutely. I, we say all the time, if you don't use it, you lose it. So it's so important to stay involved, both um, socially for your mental well-being and physically, you know, so you can keep doing what you want to do. You, you've been on a job for maybe about a month, so we grabbed you right away. Any surprises with the job so far? Um, I wouldn't say surprises. Um, I, was, um, I was struck probably within the first week of seeing what a well-oiled machine it is with all the volunteers. They are truly amazing with everything that they do, um, and they just, you know, the center wouldn't function um, without all the volunteers. It's amazing, everything that they do. Are you excited about your new role with Suprema Senior Center and also kind of looking down the road things that you might add to our fine program? I am very excited. Uh, this is just, it's fabulous to be able to um, help seniors stay engaged and be active. Um, it's, it's a nice role to play. And yeah, we're, we're madly working on the next quarter, July, August, September, and adding more to it than what, you know, a solo person couldn't support everything that, you know, she dreamed of seeing in the, the center. So very excited to add new programs. Lori, how important is it? for your collaboration with Tammy. You did the job before, but I would think it's, it would be very critical for you to converse with her on a, on a regular basis. Absolutely, um, to, to do everything we do at the Senior Center, it is definitely a team approach. So we're just thrilled to have Tammy on board. Um, she has amazing ideas already that we're starting um, to put in place with this next quarter. Um, uh, she kind of, um, arranged a new volunteer opportunity. We had um, beautiful flowers donated to us by the Bud and Bloom group around our new pavilion and she now has a volunteer team. Um, every day one volunteer goes out and waters the flowers for us. So there's so many opportunities for seniors to get involved and we're just thrilled to have Tammy on board. Yeah, you had a good segue there for me with the volunteers and people getting involved. What if someone had an idea maybe a program you're not doing or maybe tweaking a program we have now. Could they, is the center approachable to those suggestions? Absolutely. We have had in the past um, uh, seniors come to us and say this is something I'd really like to do or this is something I could offer um, and we are actually adding some new programs this coming quarter. We had a new member come. She's an artist mm -hmm. and she um, you know, talked with us and said she'd really love to offer her expertise to others. So we're going to be having a new art class. So any t ideas that we have, um, we just added a new chess program this um, current quarter because a, a new member had that um, aspiration that he has a passion about chess and teaching it and um, we got that off the ground. So we are always open to new ideas. I guess I'm kind of guilty as charged as I, I suggested to you a a uh, course on s personal safety. We, we heard in the Cleveland area, a gentleman at a, a gas station was assaulted and uh, hurt very badly, and you coordinated someone coming in, and uh, I wasn't able to attend, <laughs> unfortunately, but it may have helped some people to think about that in our uh, violent uh, society, unfortunately. 
Absolutely, absolutely. And I remember when you came to me with that. Tammy, we have a lot of card players in our vicinity, Wadsworth and beyond. Uh, what options do we have for, and I guess chess would be kind of on the fringe, mm -hmm. and I didn't even know we had that, so mm -hmm. uh, what options do we have for cards? So we have Pinochle um, Bridge. Mm -hmm. We just started up Euchre again a couple weeks ago, so that is back on weekly basis, and we're starting to have a really good turnout for that. Um, Mahjong, mm -hmm. kind of saying that's in mm -hmm. the card game. Where, sure. And then coming up in the new um, quarter, we had a volunteer that wanted to start dominoes up. So we're going to have dominoes. So there's all kinds of card games and games. I'm trying to think if I missed any. But um, yeah, that, yeah, that's really good. You know, yeah. you may not be a bridge player. Uh, but you may be a euchre player. That, yeah. that would be something that they could certainly take and make, meet new friends too. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. We have had some um, brand new members be very excited about euchre and actually we had somebody yesterday that was a new member and he went right into chess and started <laughs> playing so wow. he was excited that that was offered. How, how long does it take you and Lori, and I know you probably haven't done this yet, to develop the, the calendar for the three month period and the brochure and newsletter <clears throat> that goes out and people probably can't wait to get that. I, I, they can't wait to get it, <laughs> so much so that we're almost out of the current one. Um, but it, it's, a, it's a very time consuming process trying to you know make sure you have everything in place and just the amount of hours it takes to put the newsletter together. So yeah, it's not a quick process. Mm -hmm. it, it's definitely a ever, uh, ever changing one as you build on programs and put new things on. Notice next week the temperature are going to uh, be in the 80s mm. and warming up and with that sometimes humidity mm -hmm. and people might not want to walk outside. The walking track is available. Can you tell, tell me your collaboration with the YMCA mm -hmm. and why that's important for seniors? So the walking track is open um, to our membership uh, Monday through Friday. So Monday, Wednesday and Friday you can use the track from 12 to 2 and Tuesday and Thursday from 10 to, to noon. Um, so there's a two hour block of time every day that they can go up there. Um, it's fabulous just to keep people healthy and engaged and, and moving. So yeah, walking is one of the best exercises you can do because it's low impact. And Tammy, a lot of people utilize that. I, I go up to the track and see people that are even training dogs for mm -hmm. uh, helping out therapy dogs and mothers with infants going around and around. and uh, making sure that uh, they're healthy and the infant seems to like it very much. So it's, it's really a good opportunity for seniors to, to see that and, and, and utilize that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And another thing I'd like to add about walking, um, this next quarter our Fall Walking Challenge is back. So we're so excited. Um, we have heard from our seniors that's the, their favorite time to watch, um, to walk because they get to watch the changes of the season. Um, it's go, it will be running from September 1st to October 31st, and it's open to avid walkers or people that just want to get inspired and start out walking. And seniors can simply, when they sign up, they track their miles every day. It's not a competition, but we have a group goal. And we'll, more details will be in our next newsletter, but we're so excited to have our walking challenge back. And I've been involved in that several years. It seems like more and more people are involved in that. And I think last time, for my memory serves me right, we're, we're like 107 walkers we had. We did. We had, we've had, um, it's fluctuated, <clears throat> excuse me, because we've done some spring and um, fall walking challenges and then over COVID. But we're so excited to have it back. And we're hoping for 125 walkers. I would wow. love to see that this year. So individuals could spread the word talk yes. to other people and mention it in their their group maybe some uh, uh, card players you know we mm -hmm. could maybe mention it there and say hey by the way uh, you can go ahead and walk and, and again it doesn't it's not competition i'm not trying to beat everyone else it's whatever is comfortable for you yes your personal goal and what's great is what um, you will start out in september walking it increases over those two months, you know, your, your durability and all of that. So um, we've had seniors every year after the challenge notice their blood pressure has gone down, might have lost a little weight, and then they've created that habit and they keep walking. So it's a, it's a really fun program. 
Tammy, after we walk either in the track or on our own, mm -hmm. we probably need to get re refreshed. What about the cafe? It's really a good collaboration there mm -hmm. and we can get coffee, um, maybe not too many sweets, but maybe just a little bit and meal and, and other things too. Yes, the cafe, it's run by Medina Creative Housing and it's amazing to have that right on our campus. Um, they're open from 8.30 to 2, so yes, you can stop in, get refreshed, get a delicious lunch. You know, uh, often I think a lot of our seniors even use that meal as like their main meal of the day because it is a very bal well-balanced, nutritious meal. So, and then during the summer, we're also, they're going to be grilling out on Fridays. So we'll be utilizing our beautiful new pavilion, pavilion with um, the grill specials and everything. So, yeah, it's a, it's a great place to stop in and uh, get a bite and just relax and get rehydrated. And it's get, giving some people some opportunity to work with the public, get some skills, mm -hmm. and I'm sure they feel good about that as well. They do. Our seniors love the collaboration um, with the employees from Medina Creative Housing. They really enjoy um, seeing them and interacting with them. Um, they, they, they treasure those. And I, I think the employees from Medina Creative Housing really enjoy interacting with the seniors as well. Absolutely, and what people don't realize is the cafe is open to the public. Mm -hmm. So anybody can come, stop in and get coffee, bring your kids, it's intergenerational. So. Well, I know the principals know that. Yes. They come over and get coffee <laughs> and WCTV employees, Joanna sometimes Absolutely. comes over and uh, the hospital as well, Yes, uh, Suma, and uh, they know that. We'll just have to spread the word and get some more people uh, utilizing it as well. Lori, what about the Wadsworth Older Adults Foundation. How significant is that group? They are integral in almost everything we do at the Suprema Senior Center. Um, they have supported us for over 30 years and they um, provide support and funding for our programs. Um, they support the voucher program where seniors can have a lunch um, at the cafe Monday through Thursday. Um, they um, have supported all of our um, Zoom programming. We're still able to have hybrid programs where seniors can come in person and also via Zoom at the same time. And so the, they've brought technology that are my senior center kiosk to us. And then they've made so many improvements. Um, if anybody has not been in our cafe recently, they'll see the warm seating, the fireplace, the um, beautiful coffee bar. And then of course, the pavilion is one of the latest things they've done. We had a big ribbon cutting this past Friday, as a matter of fact, but they donated that um, knowing that we were, we'd be able to expand our space um, for program spaces for our seniors, have outdoor dining. Um, so we're so thankful for the Wadsworth Older Adults Foundation because they are a part of everything we do and they help us keep membership free for seniors. I think John is showing uh, a brochure that you brought in uh, about that and some city officials were there and a good crowd to yes. open that pavilion and again just one more addition to the center which should uh, especially in the summer uh, you and, and the fall would be a, another very nice time to utilize that. Yes and a big thanks to the city of Wadsworth, the parks department, the electric department, they all work together to to um, help beautify that and put electricity. We have fans and lighting in there. Um, it's just, it's beautiful. So I would just love to invite the public to come out and um, see the beautiful pavilion. It's our new landmark. So when we tell people how to get to the senior center, we, we tell them it's right, you know, we're, our entrance is right by that pavilion, the parking lot right by the pavilion. And it's just beautiful. So we cannot thank the Wadsworth Older Adults Foundation enough for their continued and amazing support. And they have a couple events coming up as okay. well. So the um, Hall of Fame, the Senior Advocate Hall of Fame is back this year. It's gonna be on July 27th in the evening. Um, so information will be coming out um, about that. And then we also have the, um, uh, see, actually the eighth annual senior dance. It used to be the senior prom. This year they're calling it the Royal Ball and it will be at the Galaxy this year. It's back, our seniors are so happy. We are, um, had to cancel it right in 2020, um, right before the event was to take place. So it is back and we're so thrilled. Um, tickets go on sale July 1st and we'll have all the information in our newsletter coming up. Tammy, you've worked a little bit with the new system whereby people can come in and register 
and also sign up for new activities or mm -hmm. you know confirm that they're coming to the next event how has that worked and has that really helped the, the center oh the my senior center it's wonderful the kiosk is fabulous seniors can come in they just swipe their key tag mm -hmm. and it brings up the day's events and they just simply say what they're at the center for um, they can register by you know still calling us or talking to us in person but they can also access it from home and go on and um, you know sign up for things from home as well um, and we are also doing a monthly raffle so every time you come in and swipe your key tag um, and it could just be that you're just visiting the center and not necessarily doing a program but every time you come in and swipe your tag you're entered into a drawing every month at the end of the month we will draw one raffle winner for a $25 gift card to the cafe I didn't do, I didn't sign in yet today. I better go over there as soon as the show's <laughs> yes. over and do that. So I get in the, uh, get in the route there. Yeah. Um, Tammy, it seems like there, there's something for everyone at the Suprema Senior Center. Mm -hmm. I, I just looked at the last uh, bulletin and there's sewing, mm -hmm. there's sign language, there's, uh, you know, uh, all sorts of other things to sewing, cooking, all sorts of things that may be your interest you may not in, be involved in everything, but uh, genealogy, everything mm -hmm. is, is, is there for, for the taking. Mm -hmm. It's true, we have a wide variety. I, I would think everybody would be able to find something that they would find interesting. Um, you know, whether it's in person that you come in or you take advantage of our hybrid programming and, and view it from home. Um, we also have um, support groups for caregivers, um, a wonderful grant for that that program. Um, so we do a general caregiver support. We do Parkinson support. There's also an Alzheimer's support. Um, just wonderful, wonderful activities. So yes, there's something for everyone from the games to you know learning new things, the walking, everything. And and people should keep checking mm -hmm. uh, on the website and also in their bulletin that they get because we've just talked about some new things coming up and and of course mm -hmm. there are people that are moving into the community and they can take advantage mm -hmm. um, of of the opportunities that you know set before them yeah absolutely you never know when something new might come up because if people express enough interest in it and a volunteer is willing to head it up then we'll implement it like euchre we knew that we had a good group of people who were interested in euchre so we were able to start it up once we had the volunteer before you know we didn't have to wait for the next newsletter we were able with the my senior center to put out a blast to everybody who had expressed interest in euchre and get a good group going just from that so that's another beautiful utilization of the my senior center Lori, can you help me with the membership? If I live in Rittman, and they probably don't have quite the activities we have here, am I invited and can I join some of these activities if I'm a Euchre player mm -hmm. or a chess master and wanna, wanna beat everyone in, that shows up? Tell me about that or, you know, Seville or Barberton or other neighboring communities. Absolutely, so our membership is free for anybody 55 or better. And that includes not just the Wadsworth community, but all the surrounding communities we're serving as well. So the um, anybody, a lot of the communities don't have a senior center like Ripman that you brought up. So we have seniors that come from all over, Summit County, Wayne County, um, they are welcome. Um, our Wadsworth members who live in the city limits of Wadsworth, they get our newsletter mailed to them for free. Um, if someone's outside the city limits and would like it mailed, they can pay $5 to cover postage for the year, but it's also available online. So, and we have some limited extra copies at the Senior Center as well. Um, but our membership is, we welcome seniors, um, no matter where they're from, they're more than welcome to join, join the fun. That, that bodes well with the membership, since I see all these housing developments on Hartman Road and into the Highland School District and certainly uh, you know, in the Cloverleaf, there's all sorts of uh, houses there, and Rittman, and so many other areas, Doylestown. It reminds me kind of like I, I take my dog to the dog park, and I say, where are you from? Well, Barberton, and Seville, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, Rittman, and, Bar and Akron. You're sure. right, people mm -hmm. come from all over uh, because they have those interests, 
and, and they can, again, meet new friends and take advantage of, of our service. It, it has to make you feel really proud what you're doing. It, it does. We're serving the fastest growing population, so mm -hmm. it's so exciting to be a resource. And just our first quarter alone, we had 162 brand new members join during our snowiest winter in recent history. So that was just, it's just incredible. Well, that, that again, has to make you really feel good. And that, that's quite a number, 162. Say that again. So in our first quarter of January, right. February, and March, we right. had 162 new seniors through our door that had never wow. been there. Um, just about a month ago, we had someone on her 55th birthday come and join because she was waiting to turn 55, and I love that. So um, we are just the place to be um, for anyone 55 or better in the community. And with that diversity, Tammy, again, the artists may step up and say, mm -hmm. you know, hey, uh, you know, I've been in this business and this mm -hmm. hobby for a lot of years, and maybe, uh, maybe I can set something up and just mm -hmm. one more activity so people might take advantage of. Absolutely. It's good. It's nice to have a diverse um, membership. It absolutely is. I mean, some people kind of have it stuck in their heads that, oh, I'm too young. No, you're not. <laughs> Come. I mean, it, it's just a fabulous um, intermixing of people. And it, it makes, you, makes you feel, again, getting off that couch, mm -hmm. doing things. And, and again, it does improve the... Uh, you know your your health and and mm -hmm. mental outlook as well mm -hmm. absolutely it's it's vital to stay involved and you can be as involved as you want or you know just pick and choose a couple things here and there but any amount of involvement is, is beneficial i know notice you're in charge of volunteers what are some of the tasks uh, that volunteers are involved in and how do you recruit them Oh, they are involved in every aspect, it seems like, of the Senior Center. They really help it run. So they help set up for programs, moving tables, chairs. Um, they help run, you know, we have a main leader for every activity. Um, and then, you know, subs, if, they, if the main leader can't be there, they help get the things out for their programs. Um, like she said, watering plants. And I will say, I, some, of the, some of the volunteers have been with the Senior Center so long, they often bring up things that maybe we've forgotten to think about and help with even little details of things. They're amazing. Um, so it just, they help with so much. I mean, it really, it, it couldn't be run without them. So to, you know, sometimes if I see, you know, or if Lori saw somebody very active, might approach them and say, hey, would you be willing? Or they have come up with an idea and say, I would like to have this club. So then they, you know, they become the, the leader of the program that they, would like to see implemented. Um, so there's a process, there's an application to be a volunteer and then sit down and meet and we go over, you know, specifics of what they want to do and I learn a little bit of information about their background, get to know them better and then, um, you know, we can sign them up. So it seems like they take a lot of pride in the senior center as well and if they're involved, then again, they can, they mm -hmm. can reach out and bring some other people uh, to the venue as well. Absolutely, they they really are. <laughs> They're fabulous. Mm -hmm. Tammy, it seems like the medical area. We we haven't said very much about that, but it seems seems that's the focal point with doctors coming in and uh, seminars and and appearances of medical folks. Why does that appear to me, at least, to be a focal point of the senior center? You know. It's nice to bring these things to seniors because sometimes seniors may not have the resources to go out and do it themselves or the funds. So if you're bringing like this next quarter, we have skin checks coming, you know, it, so which is fabulous. We've had the hearing checks this last quarter and this next coming quarter. Um, and then the talks that we have from SUMA and all the other, it just helps to educate seniors. Um, Sometimes you may be dealing with something and not realize that it's actually a health problem, but you know, if you attend these seminars, you can learn more about it and be more informed and helpfully guide you know, to get the care you may need, and you didn't even realize that you did need it. You have also seminars on Medicare, and uh, you know, the hospitals come in and help. So SUMA is very, very close. Mm -hmm. And things ch have changed so rapidly from one week to the next. <laughs> oh, this medication uh, you know, was really good, but there's, there's a new one. Uh, mm -hmm. So I think the, the 
up-to-date information is critical. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. We have, for like the Medicare, we have several OSHIP trained um, professionals that can sit with people one-on-one, -on -one, and we have a, a program um, monthly that helps educate people. It, it can be overwhelming trying to figure out what plan is best for you. So it's wonderful to have those resources where the seniors can come in and meet. And, you know, even the season that we just ended, the tax preparation, um, you know, sure. if you're a member, you can sign up for, for free tax preparation. So, Lori, mm -hmm. not that you two ladies aren't capable, but do you have a board that oversees the activities of the Suprema Senior Center? So there's um, the Wadsworth Older Adults Foundation, and then there's the Senior Citizens Commission, and we meet on a bi-monthly basis, and I provide um, updates to them, answer questions, um, that type of thing. So, so yeah, we have a lot of people involved. Thank you for viewing Bruce on the Loose. Lori Wilkinson, thank you very much to the director, and Tammy Reddish. Reddish, yeah, I, I, I knew that. I knew that uh, for your new role in Suprema Senior Center, and we will have an author. We have uh, Kathleen Pado coming up next week, and we will look forward to that. Thanks for viewing. watching WCTV, Wadsworth Community Television.